Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner. We are back in the land of Navgo Bear. We are annexing Finland Bear because, well, they were never going to be independent anyway. It was that was kind of the point of having them up there. Uh, next up will be Car Coinly to get annexed, and then probably Palatsk and Brandenburg. But before all that, we have released the Mamluks and Syria who are wonderful orthodox vassals, and they're having a great time converting provinces. Mamluks, unfortunately, do not get religious. No, they do get religious. So both of these guys, the Mamluks and Syria, both have religious seven, so they're going to be really good at converting all this land, assuming, that is, assuming they actually have any land to get. Now, the Mamluks are part of one of the largest culture groups in the world, so they could potentially buy a whole bunch of this and convert it, but chances are we won't ever control any of that crap anyway. We'll try to get them some of their cores back. They do have uh, quite a few cores. Syria, on the other hand, only has a few cores right here, but they kind of work together. The Mamluks go right up to Damascus, and Syria goes right down to Haran. So, yeah, that's a natural border there that we can hopefully get for our vassals, but... The main problem we have now is the Ottomans have rejoined the coalition against us, and that means we really can't go to war with them right now unless we declare on one of their allies. Guess what? They don't have any allies. <laughs> okay, well, what are you going to do? Not everybody can have an ally, right? You ain't got no alibi. Why don't you guys come on over to... Karkal Pack. Is it? No, it's not Karakal Pack. It's Karakal Pack. Karakal Pack. Karakal Pack? Like Karakwenu, but Karakal Pack? Something like that. Whatever. Just just go to the RLC, goddammit. And yeah, we did get some more rebels spawning on us, but that should be fine. Uh, now, we have a ton of merchants, don't we? We're never going to get that last trade idea uh, at this rate, because we're annexing vassals right now, which uses all of your diplomatic points. But yeah, we need something like 600 points to annex Kara Koinlu. So we'll wait until we have that before we annex them. It's going to be a while before we uh, get relations up anyway. Uh-oh, Ferrara has declared war on Sicily. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Goodbye, Sicily. Ferrara is going to eat your, eat your pain. Eat your land. Whatever, eat your clay. And yeah, France is desperately trying to kick these guys out. And it's just not happening, is it? No. It's not happening. Ceylon has gone noble republic. Hey, I applaud you, Ceylon. That's my government type, too. Finland is half gone. England keeps declaring war on random nations in the New World. Good for them. Will you stop losing? There you go. No, nope, still losing. Really? We have a 5-5 five, five general. We have pretty good tech. And we're just not doing so hot here. Oh shit, I forgot to keep relations up with France. So we're going to lock a dude there. There we go. Maintain diplomat. That's what I wanted to do. Just lock a dude there. Don't worry about it. Wow. Man, that was a rough battle. Uh, We could go help with this guy? No. By the time we get out there, we should be fine. Are they the same thing? They're both Siberian nationalists. Yeah. I was thinking of just releasing Siberia as a vassal, because he'll be orthodox, and he can, he can convert lands for me, but... I should, should be alright, I think. Maybe. Excuse me. Uh, who needs hugs? Anyone want a hug? Anyone at all want a hug? Oh my god, 149. Aggressive expansion. We can get relations up with Magdeburg so he doesn't join any coalition against us. That would really suck. What was the causes belief for the Spanish War? Let me check. It is the French-Spanish Colonial War. So the colonies had declared war on each other, and uh, they got involved. Someone demanded a white peace, and the colonies said no. It happens a lot, unfortunately. Wow, are we actually going to get there before they finish? No way. There's no way we're going to get there before they finish. That is impossible. No? No. Come on, they're at 56%. There's no way. Well, we finished all of our cores. We can westernize now. Lol. Oh, wow. He failed again. This guy just keeps failing. This guy's an amazing failure. How goes the whole religious conversion thing? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. He's having no trouble. He's 27% converted. 
41% converted? 43% converted? I can't believe it! These guys are amazing! They're amazing! Oh, these vassals, they're perfect. They're just like Iraq. Iraq had religious as well. He was extremely good at converting. These guys are as well. Nice. I am enjoying my uh, Middle Eastern and Egyptian vassals. Oh, goodbye, Finland. Goodbye, Republican tradition. <laughs> That's really the only downside of annexing a vassal is you lose your Republican tradition. But it's not the end of the world. Patrolling the Baltic Sea. And you can also patrol... Novgorod? Eh, sure, why not? And this was Finland's navy. Do I need that? No. Okay, and Finland's army is just five soldiers. I'm just going to delete that. Waste of time. So Finland has been reintegrated. Uh, it's an unaccepted culture. However, it is at least orthodox, so that's nice. Yeah, we did not have a Catholic Finland because... Because Catholic is in the same culture group as Orthodox, therefore it gets, I don't know, automatically retained? I, I don't know how to explain it. In any case, Finland's gone. Oh shit, Turkish Patriots, we gotta take care of them. Shit. Uh, yeah, about that. Well, oh, what are you? Oh, I can pick you up, cool. Finland had some units out here. Oh, he fucking finally finished it. That's okay. We'll get there. I could just accept their demands, but it's probably better if I beat him up. You're going down, foo. You're going down, foo. Going downtown. Wow, 5-5 five, five general. It doesn't, doesn't feel like it. I think it might be time to tech up. I'm just saying. There we go. Wait until the battle's over to uh, replace our cav. New cav. What do we got? Eastern Coirasers. All right. Oh, we have to choose. Do we want more fire or more defensive morale? Ooh. Well, I think we're going to go with the... Uh, well, no, we can take some fire. Yeah, fuck it. Give me the fire. Advanced Cossack Navy. Let's... Adv <laughs> Advanced Cossack Navy. <laughs> Advanced Cossack Cavalry. <laughs> Cossack Navy. I would love to see that shit. Like, what the fuck are they doing on the horses on the boat? Oh, goodness. Advanced Cossack Navy. Uh, yeah, just assault that. They tried to fail, but they didn't fail. So we'll heal up for a couple months here, maybe four months, and then we'll move in and kill them. <sighs> Netherlands is the defender of the Catholic faith. Interesting. So if I declare on Bohemia, Netherlands won't get involved. But if I declare on anyone else, Netherlands will get involved. That's a problem. I didn't expect to face that problem. Oh, I got a question for Twitch chat here. Does anyone know, does anyone know if I declare war on the vassal of a coalition member, will that call the coalition into war against me? Damn it. Well, I'm glad Twitch knows. <laughs> so declaring on his vassal doesn't help. Ah, uh, shit. <sighs> Everyone's in the coalition. These motherfuckers in their coalitions, you know? I can't respect these guys, because they're all in the coalition. Oh well, we'll just improve relations with whoever. Oh, Salzburg's not in the coalition. But he's also not allied to Marienburg, and I really want to fight Marienburg. Is this Res Publica? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Can't you tell? Can't you tell it's Res Publica? Doesn't it just jump out and punch you in the teeth? Be like, Res Publica, bitch. No, it doesn't. It doesn't jump out at you, does it? And unfortunately, these guys are about to succeed down here, so we're going to have to send some troops down to quell the rebels. Rebels. It's my vassal's rebels, but... You know, vassal's rebels can hurt, too. They have feelings. Sometimes. Nobles ally with foreign power. Uh-oh. Let's see. Lose 33 admin or lose prestige. I have tons of admin. Normally, I would take the prestige hit, but we have tons of admin right now. We're way ahead of time, so... I mean, not, we're not ahead of time. We're, we're not uh, at our limit, so it doesn't bother me that much. We're okay. Are we close to Tech 23? Yeah, sort of. Tech 23, you start getting those admin efficiency bonuses. They're just so nice. Can't fucking wait, man. Yep. Hello, new people. The Red Flames Knight. Hello. Kill him. And then come down here and kill them. Kill him. Please kill him. There you go. Alright, you're gonna run this way. And then come down. There you go. Hopefully they're on different paths. I think they are. Yeah, they are. Good. Because 48... 50, whatever amount of guys that is. It's too much to have in one tile out here. These lands can't handle it. You can't handle the land. How's France doing anyway? They're, they're not that great, huh? Spain's up uh, 46%. Oh, and Spain is also at war with the Netherlands at the same fucking time. Wow. Oh, that is interesting, though. If Spain wins their war against the Netherlands, anything, even if they just concede defeat, then the Netherlands will lose their title as defender of the Catholic faith. That's nice. Then we can declare war on Ferrara. Beautiful. Do we have a CB on Ferrara? That's a good question. Oh god, I wish this list was easier to read. It's not. Trade dispute? Nope. Conquest? Nope. Insult? Nope. Okay, so we don't. Oh, we have an extra missionary? No, we don't. France will cede Bern, Roussillon, and Toulouse to Spain. France will give Boina to Gabon. France will end the vassalization of Atse and Majapahit. France will release Scotland as a sovereign state. France will pay 160 ducats. Wow. Wow. So Atse is available for conquest. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. He still has Brunei, Ashanti, and Chamu, but no Atse. Well then, do we have a CB on Atse? No, we don't. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, France. Yeah, Scotland's in the New World, I think. Where's Scotland? I don't know. Scotland is somewhere. Somewhere in this yellow mess, maybe? No? No? Somewhere up here? No? California? Scotland? No? I don't know where it is. It, it's somewhere, you know? It's somewhere safe. It, it's somewhere. Scotland is somewhere in the New World. And I guess we go home now. Poor France. He really had no chance in that war. But hey, at least he's at peace now. And he'll have some time to lick his wounds. Any good missions out there? Nope. These are some terrible missions. Oh. Turkish Patriots. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I think what happened is we lost Defender of the Faith. That's what it was. 
So because we surrendered to Spain in that war, even though it was just to concede defeat, because we conceded defeat, we lost Defender of the Faith. Which is not the end of the world. Hmm. I guess we can leave it turned off for now. We can turn it on. Well, it was helping us convert places, and converting things is kind of nice, considering there's like a million things. There's like a million things that need converting. Uh-oh. The term is up for semen your Mac. Oh, shit. They double rebelled? Fuck you guys. Don't double rebel. Son of a bitch. Uh, shoot. So the term is up for semen. Do we keep him? He's young, so I would like to keep him. But our tradition is garbage. We keep getting events like annexing people. That lowers our tradition by 10. We'll just take a new guy for now. You know what? I'll take a diplomat. Because we need the extra points right now. Yeah. We need the extra points so we can annex people. I'm going to call that a somewhat good decision on my part. <laughs> a somewhat good decision. Oh, rebels. Hello. Disgruntled natives. And we converted charge, we... Wow, all these places are orthodox. Holy shit, look at all that orthodoxy. Nice. What about Urgench? That would be very slow. What about... Zayatsu? Very slow. Oh, shit. Well, slow as it might be, we do have to convert it. So, whoa, we can't even do that, can we? Nope. Local autonomy. Oh. Oh, there we go. Convert up there. Make it happen. Oh, right. Next to the advisors, we can do this. So part of Res Publica is you can choose, instead of getting three points in every category every month, you can choose to focus on one of them, which will add two to it. So instead of getting three, you'll get five every month, and then it'll lower the other ones by one. So you get two, five, two, and that's amazing. We're going to do that. Now, you can only do this, what, every... 10 years or something? You can't do it all the time. and I don't see where the timer is, but you can see it lowered this by 1, it lowered this by 1, and it bumped this up by 2. It's a nice bonus. And that's one of the nice changes in Res Publica. What is our force limit? I don't know. A lot. 377. We're currently at 253. More buildings! Mm, manufactories. Trade No, I can't do trade companies. We need those Diplo points. Let's do... No, not naval equipment. Let's do weapons manufactories. Weapon? Weapon. Oh, we're broke. <laughs> we're broke. Temples. Yeah, temples. And we're broke again. Great. But temples were had, so it's all good. Now I guess it's nice that Spain didn't force France to break his alliance with us, because that would have really sucked. And actually, it looks like the Ottomans have taken care of all of their rebels. Wow. No more Ottoman rebels. Well, there is still some revolt risk. Why don't we see if we can't get some revolts over here? Uh, come on back from Brandenburg. Yeah, come on back from Brandenburg. Let's see if we can afford to sponsor some revolts down here. Five ducats a month for... Oh, I can't? I cannot support Patriot Rebels? Why not? Why can't I support Egyptian Patriots? They're right there. Egyptian Patriot Rebels. Egyptian Patriot Rebels. Why can't I support them? They're not in the list. Hmm. Oh wow, the ideas are available here. You know what's weird? In the other game, 
in the Flanders game, the new ideas are not there. Humanist, maritime, and naval. Those are not there in the other game. No, it's not. It's not maritime. I'm sorry. Humanist, influence, and maritime. Uh, in my other game, they're not there. So I don't know why. But in this one, they are. Yeah, humanist does what? Religious unity. Revolt risk. Tolerance of heretics. Nationalism. I don't even know what that means. Oh, oh, when you take property, yeah. When you take new lands, I get it. Accepted culture threshold, okay. Benevolence, better relations over time, and tolerance of heathens. Ideas are cheaper. Wow, that's awfully nice. There's a scroll bar beside the rebels? Really? Ah, uh, wow, okay. Why doesn't it... I guess that's part of the better UI mod. That's just something the better UI mod needs to add. It needs to just show everything here instead of having a scroll bar. All right, yeah, Egyptian Patriots, let's do it. We'll fund them as much as possible and hope we get some. Get some! He'll probably just uh, do harsh treatment, but we'll see. I hope we get some rebels here. Like a lot of rebels. we get there before they finish? Maybe. It's going to take us three weeks to get there. Ugh. Maybe? Yeah! Now, can we win? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we have a really good general. I guess we win. Yeah. Having a really good general doesn't guarantee it, though. And hey, look at that. My vassal has finished converting Araka, and he is... 82% converting on Aleppo. Holy balls. And yeah, Sinai. So Sinai is Orthodox. Al Raqqa is Orthodox. And Aleppo is soon to be Orthodox. That's awesome. Can we also sow discontent? Probably. Uh, let's come on home from... Bavaria? Sure. I'm pretty sure we can do a lot more to these guys. We do have espionage ideas. So everything we do is easier. Uh, no. Someone is already sowing discontent, so someone else is doing it. So we can't do it. And someone is already sabotaging reputation. So someone else also hates the Ottomans. I don't know who. Algiers, maybe? No. Uh, Hedges? It's probably Hedges. Hedges really hates the Ottomans. So yeah, there's that possibility. You know what? I'm going to get relations up with Hedges. Because he might be a good buddy against the Ottomans. Even if he can't fight. He does have Tech 28, which is the same as us. So I guess he could fight. Yeah, maybe. Uh, e even if he's not going to be fighting too well. He only has those, those 30 guys. He can at least help us with more espionage against the Ottomans. So that's nice. And no, he has not put his foot down. He is not using harsh treatment. So we may soon see some rebels here. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my god, the Netherlands has 52k over here. What are you doing, Netherlands? Go home! Oh! Ooh! Ferrara declined France's demand for peace. Ooh! Ferrara is now at war with France. This is what I wanted. I needed. I need to declare war on Ferrara. Because that would get me into war with Magdeburg and Bohemia separately. But now France is going to have a goddamn truce. Shit. But if I just declare on Magdeburg, then I don't think I can piece them out individually. I think I'm going to have to piece out Bohemia. Because they're going to take over leadership in the war. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm curious. Timurids will cede Badashan to Khorasan. Timurids give Ro to Khorasan. Okay. Uh-oh. CB on Hedges. That's fine. We don't worry about that. Hedges and I, we see eye to eye. Yeah. Enemy of enemy plus 20. Really powerful stuff. 
Oh yeah, right. We wanted to see if we could go annex and release Atsa as a vassal over here. That would be nice. Pegu as well. It might have to be two wars. We might have to do Pegu and then Atsa. Oh, no, no, no. We do have show superiority on these guys. All right. Uh, can we get access in Pegu? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Pegu loves us. All right. How many troops does Atsa have? Talk to me, Atsa. Uh, sort by name. He's got 15 guys. Well, I've got 22. So I think that's uh, going to be enough. Shall we? France is going to go fight Ferrara. I'm going to go fight Atse. Oh, right. I need to ask for access. Derp. 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 Now, we're going to have to find a way to walk across this strait here. He's probably going to have boats. Uh, but we'll see. What the fuck is Hedges doing over here in Brunei? <laughs> what? Hedges? I don't even know. I have no words for that. Alright, Pagoo, how about that? Give me that access, huh? Good man. Let's go straight to Malacca. And we finished our colony in Appalachia. Great. So that goes over to America. And now I got nothing for this army to do. Just go chill up there. We might delete that army. I was kind of using it as a means to uh, prevent rebels from spawning. But he seems to have control over his uh, provinces without any issue. Even Portuguese is still accepted. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Finished some weapons manufactories. And we've been discovered supporting rebels. Damn. So, revolt risk went down to 0.6. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just do it again. No big deal. France is improving relations with us. Of course they are. Ooh, we finished our colony, Angara. Alright, one second there. One second there, Angara, man. Let's go back to supporting more rebels again. Whoop. We're just going to keep doing that, because why not? And we can do another colony over here. Alright, another colony. Um, there's not a whole lot of Sunni left to go, but there is still some. Did we sell our lands to Iberica? No. Oh, those two islands. I forgot to sell those islands to Iberica. I'm a moron. I forgot. I forgot. You know what I can do, though? I can build more temples. Temper. Good times. Okay. All right, Mr. Atsa, what you got for me, bro? Russia gets a claim on Kuzestan. That's fine. I don't really care. What's up, Atsa? Discovered Kalapuya. Okay, hello. Hello, Kalapuya. Hello, Hedges. Love you, Hedges. Yes, hello, Winter. Hello, everyone in Twitch chat. How are you today? Today is a good day. Today's the day we invade Atse. Because why not? Yeah, he is blocking us with his navy. Damn it. Hmm. Four heavies and ten lights. Well, you know what? We can at least siege Malacca area for now. Uh, maybe annex and release Malacca the nation. Do we have a trade company? No, we do not. Uh, you have to be a western nation to have a trade company. We have four heavies, but he's going to have more ships than us. Hmm. 
We could send our fleet over, I guess. Yeah. Um, sure. I'll send my fleet over. Alright, 15 more heavies on the way. Go meet up in... Ceylon? No. Meet up in... Well, why don't we stop here on the way? We do have naval access, yeah. So just do a little couple couple hops here so we don't get, uh, what do you call it? Too much attrition. And then go stop in the Andamans here. I should have brought my navy over first. I should have checked and seen how much of a navy Atse had, but I guess it's not the end of the world. We'll just siege him up over here, then we'll get our navy in place, beat up his navy, and then we'll siege him some more. At least that's the plan. Anyway, uh, we are out of time for this episode today, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the lands of Navgaber, uh, where Shun will probably be annexing Ming. <laughs> And I still can't believe that France won that war. I mean, Spain won that war against France, and you got these three territories. Isn't that amazing? France actually lost a war to Spain. That's awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.